G'day viewers, how's it going? Tarn's here again, back on the mountain. It's been a little while since the last video. Have you guys missed me? I missed you guys. Um, yeah, took some time off over winter. Started a new job. It's been going well actually. Um, been getting some more funds and resources for the projects up here on the mountain. Um, yeah, it's been good. It was pretty cold over the winter time. But, um, and um, really dry, haven't had a lot of rain. Most of the, I mean, a majority of the state's been in drought conditions now for most of the year. It's gonna be good when we get a bit more rain up rain up here. It's usually a lot greener than it is at the moment. But um, yeah, anyway, just sort of got back to building the, the shelter and stuff. Yeah, when we left off, I was working on the floor and I got that finished the other day, so almost ready to move in. Which would be good, I'll be able to start building the house soon. But anyway, let's go over and have a look at it. Yeah, so where we left off, I was working on this floor and um, pretty much just finished it the other day. Worked out all right, I reckon. It's still a bit of a rough finish on it. The fine, sort of um, fine gravel, sort of sand sort of mix that's gone in between the timber pavers. It's gonna take a while for it to settle down a bit. But um, it looks pretty cool, I think. And it's pretty functional. Feels good sort of um, being inside at the moment. Got the roof up. So yeah, very close to moving in at the moment. Tent's gonna go over this side. And yeah, put the water tank back over there in a minute and hook it up, put a gutter on the back. I've just today I've been um, figuring out how I'm going to mount my sort of um, shelf, uh, more of a bench really, to go across there. That'll um, sort of be like a bit of a kitchen area. I just bought some um, steel brackets. I thought I wouldn't be, wouldn't bother making up my own because I um, want to get straight back into it and get some progress happening. Beautiful day out in the valley. Not much visibility at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to mount that and um, then strip that slab back. That's a slab just from the sawmill. It's a bit of nice bit of blue gum. It should have a nice sort of pinkish colour if I strip it back and then seal it with something. And yeah, in the meantime, I've just been sort of refilling in between the pavers with fine sort of sand. I think I might get some river sand in eventually because it just sort of settles and then the top blows off a bit. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. It's nice under here. Looking forward to moving in. Should be happening very soon. Well, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Um, just eyeballed all those brackets and everything. Didn't want to spend too much time on it. Looks nice to me, though. They're pretty solid brackets. They're rated for like 400 kg, so should be more than solid enough. Looks like a good bench slash bar. <laughs> now I'm going to. It's not connected. Um, the board isn't screwed onto the brackets yet. I think I might have to take it up to the shed to strip it down with the belt sander. This small generator won't run the belt sander. It's like two and a half kilowatt sander, I think. So yeah, I'll take it up there and see if I can finish it off a bit. Then bring it, bring it back down and tack it on. Should be good.
Well, here we go, guys. Been working on it for a few hours now. It's coming up pretty good. I stripped it back with some um, 40 grain sandpaper. Oh yeah, my blue belt sander blew up too, so I've been using this other one. It's not as good as the other one, but it goes all right. Pretty nice finish on it. I've got some um, linseed oil, some raw linseed oil, to um, go over the top of it in a little while. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a bit more on it, keep stripping it back. I'm going to use some finer paper now. And yeah, we'll see how nice we can get it. Here we are guys, back down to the shelter, just put, it up, put the board up again, looks really nice, the colours come out of it really well, and um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and see, give it a bit of a rub down with linseed oil, it's going to be a bit of an experiment, it's the first time I've used it for anything, but it's supposed to be good on um, external timber stuff, so yeah, we'll go have a look, see how it goes. Right here, here we go, I've just got an old cotton rag, old pair of shorts, pour a bit of oil out. Something's in the bottom already. Smells nice, it smells like cereal, probably because it's made from flax seeds I guess. Mm, that looks very nice. Oiling is always a very satisfying task. Brings out the grain and the texture. Makes it look a bit silky. Try to get that oil right into the cracks. It's going to protect it. The moisture, raw linseed oil, um, there's a difference between raw linseed oil and boiled linseed oil. Boiled linseed oil is um, treated a bit more and it um, dries a lot faster, which is, um, is okay for like things like finer furniture and things that are going to be inside, but when you're trying to sort of protect timber outside the raw linseed oil um, not as treated takes a lot longer to dry which gives it a lot more time to sort of penetrate into the wood like this will probably take a week to dry properly but by that time it'll um, really soak in to the timber like oils rather than varnishes and lacquers they're less, they produce less of a film and it looks less artificial. More maintenance though, like I'll have to oil this again in the future, but it's alright, it's worth it. That looks really nice. It's looking really nice. Do a bit more.
Well, here we go, guys. Turned out pretty good in the end, I think. I just cut the front of those brackets off with um angle grinder. Beautiful colour on that blue gum. It's going to be a nice little breakfast bar. Nice view. The good ones to get rid of a few of those trees. They'll be getting turned into my house, which is going to be starting very soon. Now that this thing's almost done. So yeah, I think I might set up my tent and stuff this afternoon. Get it all going. Got some containers with some food and stuff and all that jazz. Yeah, it's going to be good in here, I think. Nice and open. Looks like we've got our first breakfast guest. Pretty large lace monitor. Oh, there he goes. Have a good afternoon, bro. Right, hey guys, I might um, leave it there for this video. Um, I'm going to spend the next week or so getting some power and stuff in here. Um, solar power, get a generator set up properly, get some water going for the garden. The garden's looking a bit, how do you do at the moment? Um, plant some tomatoes and stuff to eat over the summertime. So yeah, I'll see you next time guys. Bye.